I'm honestly just a normal girl with the same emotions that anyone else has. Um, I want to follow my dreams, achieve my dreams, and uh, you know, make a difference in this world. Having said that, who's an Anya Birla is a very, very deep question, and I'm trying to figure it out myself. So you can't put a timeline to such things. So when it comes to my family business, of course, I would love to support my father in whatever way it, it could be possible. But currently, you know, music is my focus, but Tantra is my focus, and um, I'm always there for him as a daughter, of course. And in the future, what happens will happen. So currently, for me, the present moment and what I'm doing currently is the most important. So I think because of the generation, also, it's it's. Uh, we all tend to, you know, I think it's become less restrictive. So you see that there are many, many people who have, uh, you know, two careers, for example. Um, things are not, things are changing with, with the digital world coming in and with mentality is changing, with the world becoming smaller, with cross-cultural, you know, things happening, things are changing. The thing with entrepreneurship is that what really fascinates me about entrepreneurship, I think it's like a, it's like a Lego, when you build a Lego, you start with one piece and you know you have an idea of how it may look, let's say I'm making a sports car. But you have to start with one piece and then you build the entire thing to create that sports car. And that's what entrepreneurship is like. You have a vision to create this maybe a business, organization, whatever, whatever, whatever it may be, a social enterprise, um, an empire of some sorts. Um, and so you have this vision, but the blocks are very small and you have to sort of put everything together and you have to sort of you know mold it. Addiction, uh, I have a lot of gum. I'm literally addicted to chewing gum. Like, if you walk into my room, you will see like wrappers of gum all around. So you know that I was there. That's like my, that's how I like mark my territory. I think it depends from person to person. I think we all have our own struggles and obstacles to get through. Um, the most important thing is, I think, I would like to, let's take the question, flip it on, flip it on its head. So what, would make you uh, a successful entrepreneur in my eyes, I think at least, would be um, that your vision is very, very clear. So if you have a clear vision, that makes everything much simpler. You have the right people on board, because that makes a huge difference. The people are in, line, in alignment to the vision that you have. Um, your values are in place, which obviously means that you know you need to be very passionate about what you do, you need to be hardworking, you, know, you need to be just right and honest. Like I, like I tell my parents as well that I think this is the time for me to really work hard. This is my youth. I'm very ambitious and there are things I want to do. Um, which means that my personal life has, you know, taken a little bit of a toll in that sense. Which is okay because it's a, I've taken a very conscious decision. Um, so I try to balance as much as I can. And the good part is that uh, work keeps me um, active and happy and fun. And I'm actually a boring person when I work. So. I think for me the most important thing is to be authentic um, so that I can sing from my heart and I think Eminem is someone who has really done that for me. Um, so Eminem, uh, I also for many different reasons think Kurt Cobain is, uh, was a very honest person. Hi, I'm Ananya Birla and you are watching me on Entrepreneur India.